exercise is a great teaching tool to pattern the squat, and I'm going to show you how to do it with perfect technique. So pay attention to the little details that I show you from foot positioning to spinal positioning and to where you should be feeling this in your body. To start off, position your feet so they're about shoulder distance apart. They could be in line with your armpits, they could be just a little bit to the outside. Every individual is different, so you got to experiment with that to find out what the best width is for your feet. So I'm going to start off in the shoulder distance uh, position and I'm going to squat down and I'm going to grab the horns of the kettlebell to pick it up. So I'm using my legs and my arms to bring it up and now once I'm in this position you can see I'm underneath the ball of the kettlebell and the handle is pushed into my chest. Now I'm going to use that handle as a little bit of a feedback mechanism so I can push my chest up into that handle as I lower myself down. So as I lower myself down, I'm going to keep my elbows right underneath that kettlebell and I'm going to touch the inside of my elbows to the inside of my knees. And now I'm going to pause here just for a moment. I'm not resting. And to stand up, I'm going to get a little breath in and stand up. Now in this position, Make sure that you are standing with a straight body. You're not arching back. So you keep your rib cage stacked over your hips. Pull yourself down. And you want to stop right before your tailbone tucks under. If you go this low and your tailbone tucks under, you're not going to really get good access of your glutes. So you might start, stop here, and that's OK. The elbows are right inside the, the knees. From here, stand up. Return down, and you notice that my hips are back. I'm not allowing my knees to come forward or my heels to come off the ground. My heels stay down on the ground. I punch my chest up, stand up tall, and now when I'm finished, I set that down between my legs. Another way to pick up the kettlebell and to hold it in the squat position is holding it from the horn position the entire time. So I'm going to show you how to get it up from that position. You're going to actually start off in a little bit of a swing position, tipping that kettlebell back. You're going to hike it between your legs, and then you bring it up. Now, I'm pinching my elbows in. I'm holding the horns. I'm in a tall position, and then I'm going to squat down from here and come up. The entire time, I'm doing my best to maintain a straight spine, sit back into my hips, elbows right inside the knees, and stand up. Now, one of the great things about the goblet squat is that this acts as a counterbalance so you can better sit back into your hips instead of loading the knees, which a lot of people do while they're in the goblet squat. All the power is in your hips, so you want to really focus on generating that power from your heels up.